Hi and good evening. My son wanted me to make a video about our dog. So I figured while I looked cute after work and had put on my favorite plaid shirt, I would just talk, at least talk about it. We're going to do some before and after pictures so everyone can see but within 72 hours, well, it was even faster. Um, but within 72 hours, there had been so much of a difference to his um, eczema that <laughs> my son is so happy. So how the story goes is I got a call last week, Wednesday, Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. Anyways, yeah. Um, I got a call to that my grand puppy was very sick. They didn't know what to do. And I said, well, let me take him. Let me have him. I'll, I've done eczema with myself and with my children. So I've combated eczema. I've worked with eczema. I know how to manage it until you can conquer it. Um, it takes a while sometimes to trick it. Like it's, I know how to fight the battle with eczema is. And so Anthony pay, is paying me to take care of Wick and make him better. And I am so grateful that I didn't lose my healing gifts during this time in my life. And in fact, perhaps they the trauma and the craziness of life perhaps even strengthened this gift because this was a very fast turnaround. He's doing much better. There's still a ways to go and it could be that we're managing it, not curing it. We'll see what, what happens. Um, but I just, he wanted me to make a video to talk about what I did. <laughs> So every case of eczema is different. So what I've done may not work exactly right, but if you have a dog in Edmonton with eczema, perhaps it's from the same allergen or toxin or whatever the heck it is that's bothering the dogs. Because we were just walking and I met a neighbor that there's another neighbor that their dog has eczema. So um, it's going around and so I um, they wanted to know also what I did so what I did was of course pray um, Jesus is in all this and then I went well I got him booked oh I gave him a bath I gave him a bath with the shampoo that the vet had given for Rosalie my Bichon Shih Tzu God bless her Beautiful little dog soul. Oh, what an angel. Anyhow, I will show you the shampoo if I still have it here. Somewhere else. Where did Grandma put the shampoo, Wick? I'll show you Wick too, but not quite yet. Oh. Well, once I find the shampoo, I think I know where I put it. Um, yeah, because I took it to the groomer. So there it is. Okay, yeah. So the first thing I did was give him a bath with his shampoo. And I see the camera has it perhaps reversed. We'll see how it works, comes out after the video. But yeah, that's the shampoo for sensitive skin. I'll put it in the description. So I gave him that bath and then that night, what did I moisturize him with? I think I started treating him with a 
with the antifungal because that's what I did. I used um, yeast infection cream because it's from, from these little Shih Tzus. They get the yeast in their ears from their ears being such a... <laughs> they're such a... They need so much um, care, these sweet little dogs. So they get problems with their ears from the yeast and then it turns into eczema because it just gets out of control. So... Um, and then it was like fungal and it reminded me of a diaper rash that the, when the kids were young, my dear sweet angel baby twins, sons had TMI, bit of information, but they had a diaper rash. It was out of control. I had a friend, Mary Ellen, who was a nurse and she said, use, go get some anti, some yeast infection cream. And whoa, did that ever work? So I kept that trick throughout life is sometimes certain kinds of eczemas are fungal and then you just like, I don't know, sorry, fungal is probably kind of a scary word <laughs> to think, but I mean, we're in a place like that's life. Fungus ab abounds and that is just life. So when you have eczema, sometimes these are the things you have to do. Now, another thing that I did was the next morning, I booked him in for his grooming appointment. While he was at his grooming appointment, oh, also probiotics. He is ta on taking probiotics. I switched his food to the IAMS small breed formula at that thing this one is the one I switched his food to I really liked it for Rosalie and Stitch worked really well for my other the other Bichon Shih Tzus booked his grooming appointment gave him some Homeopet. It is a homeopathic de-stress for pets. I love homeopathic medicine for pets and for me. <laughs> um, I don't use it all the time. Maybe I should really actually use it more. I've got some neat things here, but yeah. So I gave him this to make sure he was calm. Took him to the groomer. While he was there, I went to the mall and got the ingredients I wanted to get for his own personal diaper rash cream, basically. So I will get those ingredients. So here I am with the ingredients. So I first went to the health food store. They didn't have everything I wanted. They didn't have, I wanted to get a, uh, I really wanted to get a homeopathic candida medicine. And so they, are, or, they ordered that in, it should be there. And then I also wanted red clover tea um, because I can use that as like a, a, a wash if he needs if his skin needs soothing or I can give him a little bit in his water and then he also like the whole yard is full of clover so him being out in the yard is good for him so yes I went to the health food store and got tea tree oil because tea tree oil fights yeast and fungus thank you creator God for making this wonderful plant. Yeah, the smell of it. I've got it going in my diffuser now. Another thing, they need moist air, so the diffuser needs to go, be going. But yeah, the tea tree oil will help with that, so I got that. And then I went to Shoppers, the drugstore, and 
didn't know what my base cream would be. I needed something inexpensive because I am very financially poor right now. Like I have, I think, four to five dollars in my bank. I'm very poor. Good thing I'm working and I'll have money on the third or fourth. So now I got, but still, it's terrible to be poor and I wish my computer programming business would take off or my YouTube channel would take off and I could just not worry so much and just take care of Shih Tzu's. So yes, here I have um, this Glycemed and I chose this as my base because, oh my gosh, I have this cream in my purse for when I'm at work and I need that kind of cream and it's just so good and soothing and calm. It doesn't have any ingredients that are stinging when my hands are disintegrating from having to wash them so much. And so anyhow, so that's my base and then my tea tree oil. And then I also... I'm not going to show it, but you just go get Canist and the topical one, and then I put that in there too. I didn't measure it. Um, I've what I do know is it needs more base because I should probably have used a little less of the oil and the fungal. So that's my only note to self. In the future, I will maybe make a formula so it makes sense and I can share that but for now that's what I did for the emergency this has worked I'll use this cream and then I'll like the diaper brush one that I made and then I'll just use a little and go and pet him everywhere that he's got the the rash and then I'll go get some of this cream and put it in my hands and then again go over with this to kind of seal that in and to soothe him because he just needs a little bit of this because it's got the medicinal ingredient and we're on now it's been Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we're day four and he's so much improved. Um, with this kind of bad eczema, you know, like, if it doesn't get under control, it can lead to serious health problems, so I have to do this for these little pups. And I'm so grateful to be asked because it's good for my mental health to be able to help, and especially to be asked to help. Like, it's wonderful. Somebody even asked me for advice today. I'm like, oh, usually the advice I give is quite unsolicited. So it was really nice to be asked for advice from the young man at the store I go to quite often. So, yes, um, to get my medicine. And that is, I think that he's eating the duck treats. These treats make him <laughs> he's turned into like little Rosalie <laughs> well he is he's he, this is Wick is Rosalie's son so yeah he loves these duck I need to be a duck farmer if anyone wants to inv invest in my duck farm future duck farm I'd be cool with my shoulder now, that's the kind of work I could do, duck farming. And then my animals would always have lots of food. And okay, I think that's the main thing. If I think of more, I'll be doing more videos or I will just put more notes in the description, like put it in the description. A link to maybe I'll put this on my website also, so cross post it a bit and I can't think, Little Wick. What else does Grandma need to know? He's got his sweater on now. So I am not going to take it off to show you. But we will be doing the before and afters. He's so good now. 
He's just so good now. He's not so inflamed. Before when I touched him anywhere he was it was hot and that heat cooled down. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So if anyone wants to send us money, please do. We need money. We need money in our home. Because it's hard to be off work and be in limbo land with my marital status and just needing to be single anyways. I have to make it on my own. But it's hard when I have had these health challenges. So if anyone wants to send money, if you like my ideas and want to send a tip, please do. Thank you. God bless. Say bye. Say bye.